Monday, and it's time to talk technology. Louis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, on the line with us. Hi, Louis. Good morning, Mark. How are you? Doing really well. So we have an interesting story today about scams involving QR codes that are on parking meters. What do you know about this, and how does it all work? QR codes are those ubiquitous things that have become really, really prominent during the pandemic when restaurants basically stopped issuing paper menus and asked you to scan the QR code so you can see what was on the menu. And you see them all over the place now. And in particular, when you use a parking meter, even here in Cannery Row, you'll see that there's QR codes that will take you to an app so you can download the app and then put in all your credit card information and pay for parking if you don't want to use coins or, or use a credit card directly on the parking meter. The problem with that is that like anything that is well-intentioned, the bad guys use to their advantage. And what they're doing is that they're creating new QR codes and putting stickers on top of the QR codes that are supposed to be on the meters. And when you scan them, it takes you to a malicious website where you put in your credit card information and you now have given the bad guys all your credit card information, which they can use against you. And in some cases, what they do is they tell you that the credit card you put in doesn't work. So put in another one. So they take all your cards, all your cards. Exactly. We're good law abiding citizens. So when we see something that looks official, we use it. But the caution here is that when you see a QR code, make sure that when you scan it, one, it it looks like it's embedded. That is, it's not something that was stuck on there with a sticker. So it looks like it's part of the device or it's from a known source. But even after you scan it, make sure you check the website that looks like it's a legit website, that it doesn't have a .ru or .ci or some foreign um, domain name on the uh, URL. The other thing too is, for the time being, it might be a good idea to not use those QR codes and just use the credit card. And try using, like what I've done is I've got a green dot card, which is a debit card that I load with a small amount of money. And that's what I use for types of areas, parking meters, things where someone could easily put a chip scanner in there. I use a card with hardly any money on it because if I get hit, they're not going to be able to get anything from me. Absolutely. That's a really smart move. Louis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, our guest today. It's AlvarezTG.com. At AlvarezTG is the Twitter handle. Louis, the toll-free number for the iTeam. Give us a call at 866-78-ITEAM. That's 866-78-4-8-3-2-6.